Hello, good evening. It's just one of those days. <laughs> it is one of those days, Libra. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do no communication. It's going to be a very complete sign. This can happen for a fire, water, air, or earth. Um, I do want to go and do your oracles first, if you don't mind. This could be a long video because I'm going to take my time. Um, COVID has now moved to my tummy, and so I'm just going to try to take it easy for this video. Let me see if I can show more of my eyebrows. There we go, getting in the shot more. Welcome, Libras. Let's do your evening reading. Just going to do a little bit of lighting mistakes and mishaps. Also, I want to wish Heather and Kim. Kim, you reminded me of... Um, Kim Kardashian's name, but your birthday is today. Heather and Kim, happy birthday, both Libra Light longtime viewers. And I did want to say um, tomorrow there's still going to be videos for the main messages. Um, and then for a couple of hours, I'll be gone because I'll be celebrating with my family. And hopefully we can do another night video. But if I do not return at night, I will let you guys know in the comments below. You will know the new schedule by tonight's end. 111 just flashed on the camera. Let's see what's going on for the overall. What wants to come in for the future? Charisma. Charisma. We have a beautiful vestida, which is a dress. It's right by a bunch of cherry blossoms. What's interesting about this is in Japan, when the sakura flowers fall, it's a huge festival. It's like a, a huge thing about romance. People get engaged there. They make it a huge thing. So with the charisma card, it says, Love will flow to you. You radiate charisma and charm. What's coming up next in the collective? Illusion, Seven of Cups. Another beautiful dress there. It says, be aware of love's illusions. See reality clearly. Take the rose colored. What I'm hearing here is take those rose colored tints off, which is the first way I heard it. But take those rose colored glasses off. There's something that you need to see deeper than skin level, okay? the intentions of a guy or girl what are they looking for okay so ask yourself that seven of cups feelings seven of cups is confu confusion and fantasy that's how it equates in tarot what's coming in next why gifts okay your birthday could literally be tomorrow the eighth or the ninth um my libra dad is october 10. it says love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand one another definitely uh, sitting and talking with one another, having a drink with each other, sitting on the couch and laughing at Mrs. Doubtfire <laughs> is another gift. Or somebody could literally be coming by to drop you one. That's what I also think. It's the drop off with the gifts. Okay, beautiful. Seven of Cups was a huge card today. It circulated. I saw it in other videos. Unfortunately, it was here, I believe, in an oracle. It didn't show up in the traditional tarot card, but just remember that illusions card, okay? Um, the fourth one for the night, attraction, fatal attraction. <laughs> so we have, you are attracting the right person at the right time into your life. Can I ask, why is this like the situation tonight with charisma and attraction? What is going on? Celebration, friendship. It's gonna be a lot of touching reunions, people bumping into you, maybe on or near your birthday. And the celebrate card says, today celebrate the love you share with those who matter the most. The friendship card says, this connection is based on friendship. It's never gonna go anywhere. <laughs> but however, this is the interesting thing about the friendship card and the celebrate oracle is that the friendship could spawn into romance later. And we're gonna clarify, I'm gonna put it over here as a bonus. Bottom of the deck is toxic with a bunch of, I don't know, it's like those, um, you know, when you're leaving, or, okay, that bad example I was gonna say, when you're leaving a place that you, you shouldn't and you're climbing the fence. But what's funny here is they're all intertangled and it's getting mangled on the toxic card. It says these relationships will drain your energy and your self-worth be aware now. This is a warning card for tonight. It could also be in your real life. You could have connections with particular people that later on are, are just not gonna be good for you. Create the closure now at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the world card right here. Uh, I like to show you guys my oracles because 
another reader perhaps if you go on their channel they have the technical tarot card so you get to see that the energy is both here and somewhere else if you've ever watched like that and i know some of you watch like that all right let's get started beautiful again happy birthday to heather and kim which were the additions and tommy tommy sent it to me late too happy birthday tommy on october 6th okay so i'm gonna move these up and i i want to look at them like illusions attraction beautiful charisma card that you got and I think that leads out for the birthdays tonight or you experienced moments like this today all right let's see the we're going to be doing no contact so let's start that no contact please highest angels archangel Raphael please help us out we have the nine of swords and we have the three of wands the three of wands is wanting to create expansion I think this is the Libra setting themselves free there's a bit of, um, I got a word when this flipped over, escapist. So you could be escaping to a new adventure or you could be veering off to give yourself some time. It is an expansion and positive card. It talks about a dreamer moving on to new shores and also seeing the horizon way before it even happens, but it's about to happen. That matches up with another oracle that you had here. Which one was it? It's a little bit of this charisma card. It could have been attraction too but it's almost like there's an escapist feeling in the beginning, but it is for higher self. This isn't just to get away from somebody. This is for higher learning and perhaps it's just a good time for somebody's birthday with the three of wands, okay? Anyone on the seventh, eighth or ninth. We have the nine of swords. I think that's somebody attached to you in no communication, sleepless nights. There's a little bit of worries and anxieties here because overall the nine of swords is an anxiety card. They could be an air sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, authority, or they don't have to be. It could just honestly be anyone in the Nine of Swords. What's going on here? Can I build the story? Tower, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, King of Swords. Did I call out the Five of Pentacles? Ace of Cups is the one I did not say. Okay, one more time. Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, two kings. King of Swords, the Tower card. Tower is Aries and Scorpio, mainly Scorpio, when readers do their readings. We have a tower here that happened. A truth was dispelled. Okay, I feel like with the King of Swords, it's stating that something had happened in no communication. Also, there's somebody, there could be two people in their feelings. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. It is rooted in love still. There's still a lot of feelings going on in the readings, but we have a big card that tells a little bit more of the story, which is the Five of Pentacles, living in scarcity, doubt, or somebody feels left out. It's also, when you look at the photo of the Five of Pentacles, there's a lot that this person still needs to find out. Even if they walk out that door, put the key in the lock, they need to find out more information, right, in the Five of Pentacles. And so, for some of you, there is a person that could set themselves free from this, but they're choosing not to at this time. King of Swords. Also, the Tower card is new information. It was in our morning readings too. And what's crazy about that is I also think it happened in the recent past. Okay, let's look at the recent past. A few cards, the Emperor, Aries, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups. So the Ace of Swords is there the devil reversed. Somebody's going to want to come to you, the king of wands, ten of pentacles. I'm just going to stop there because the rest will be flippers tonight. Yeah, the, I'm going to show you guys again. The king of wands is also back in a different deck, page of cups. There needs to be like a really honest, what I feel is like somebody just needs to speak up. The king of swords, the king of cups, and the page of cups are all blue indicating throat chakra it just needs to be said it's a very simple solution i do think that somebody's been really introspective and thinking a lot how to plan ahead like really positive moves elsewhere that could be the divine masculine there's there's a planning and a lot of thinking okay that could prove later as an action so we won't look at that today that could show up in another reading this week and the emperor nice so somebody wants to take control of a situation I think it's a it's a desire it doesn't come off as the final action to me i'm just being very honest with you i think this is the next steps feelings is to take control eight of cups 
Hierophant, Three of Cups, King of Wands. Okay, I'm going to do it slowly because those were my splits. Let's look at this Three of Cups for tomorrow. Show me the Three of Cups, which is a reunion. And also, uh, it is about gatherings, food and drink celebrations. So we have an Ace of Pentacles within that. There could be a gift that is very special or somebody's offering of friendship is very special. This coming week overall, this can happen anywhere. The Ace of Pentacles can be shown in an opportunity you've been looking at. Also, it's about job applications and receiving notes that it's been accepted or the background check has floated through. As you guys know, this can be taken very technical. The Ace of Pentacles can show up as a treat in your life. It's it's a huge treat. This is more than a gift sometimes. It's sometimes two blessings in one day, okay? And that's the feeling I'm getting from the Ace of Pentacles. You could be getting closure in another area of your life and the door is gonna open. Do you see how beautiful the cards are saying that is a new opportunity, the door is gonna open. The reason why it is like that the reason why I chose to show you is because the fool is the underlying of why that happens. A new risk is taken, uh, perhaps a leap in the right direction, and a new choice. I believe it's because you made an action to do that this week. We also saw the fool card in our weeklies, if you remember. The fool card was there, but in a, a different deck. You know, it was in a, <laughs> in a different deck. It was in a green one. Okay. What's the likely outcome of reunions? Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Five of Cups. So you only had three. Let me just make sure they're not sticking together. They're very, very thick, these new lights here cards. Okay, so somebody wants love from you. They want your attention. The Five of Cups is just saying, please let me in. I've been doing everything on the sidelines. I haven't been able to get up close and personal like the Michelle Pfeiffer film of 1992. <laughs> up close and personal with... Um, there was a guy in that movie too who's, he's very handsome. He's like a striking, Robert Redford is in that movie, up close and personal. And uh, I believe Celine Dion sang on the soundtrack of that movie. They feel very remorseful over something that's gone on between the two of you. For 13% of you, I do believe it fell under an argument. For some of you, there was just ghosting here that happened in no communication. So they're really regretful of letting that egg slip Okay, there's something here about letting something slip away. I keep getting that. I'm not being shown the slip dress. I'm being shown like something really fell over and nobody did the actions to go pick up the ball or pick up the cup before it fell. That's the vision that I'm getting. And the two of cups as you intuit is a union card about friendship, love, caring for one another and putting your two cents in where love counts. Okay, clarify that for the likely outcome and then we're possibly gonna do a bonus here. We have the chariot and the king of pentacles. The chariot and the king of pentacles. So we have cancer and Taurus here. Prominent cardinal sign and then the Taurus is a very big fixed sign. It's one of the big fixed signs in the four. So what I see here is actions are being taken to go in your direction because the Seven of Swords is actually walking your way and it's about traveling, okay? So it's a question of when and where I'm gonna do this. I wanna create movement with the Libra because I'm coming from a tower moment. This can be a financial matter. Somebody could have had legal troubles. I also sense maybe even here like trouble with a previous partner, okay, that has there's no attachment to you, Libra. This is like this person's story. And the King of Pentacles is what they see in you, I believe. Like almost heading to the King of Pentacles in you. What is this um, Tranquility and Stability card? What's the King of Pentacles for no communication? Judgment. Yeah, somebody's decided to come toward you or they want to reconcile because it is a reconciliation card. That's what I wanna study in the next video. Ten of Cups, Empress, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups is my next cards. The Queen of Cups would be important because she would be somewhat in association with the feelings of this person rushing in. And that's what I want to do in the bonus as an extension. So I'm just going to plug in my camera for a few minutes. Give me about 14 minutes and I will be back. This is like super live tonight. And I will be back with the second part of your video.